guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Fiction Reader Summit book haul. I am super excited. I feel like this year I have really cut back on how many books I've purchased. I didn't set out really to go on a book buying ban or anything, um, but I just really decided that I needed to really pay attention to the books that I was purchasing. Am I realistically going to read them truly? Uh, am I just buying them because they're on sale? <laughs> because I don't have room to keep doing that. So I have if I've read the book on Kindle and loved it and want a paperback copy for my collection, totally fine with doing that. I have an Amazon wish list that I just am always adding books that at some point I know that I'm going to want to buy on there. Typically they're indie books because that's really the only place you can get indie books. And then BakerBookHouse.com is my favorite bookstore to shop and get books from. Um, but yeah, I've just... I haven't pre-ordered. I think I've pre-ordered one book this year. I just have really watched what I'm doing just to save some money. This year I did, for Fiction Reader Summit, I did save up some money over since the beginning of the year just so that I had money for books intentionally so I wasn't freaking out or like needing but I knew that that was my budget and I'm happy to say that I actually stayed under budget by like four dollars but you know what that's a big deal I stayed under budget and I was just very thoughtful in the books that I purchased and brought home and I'm so incredibly thankful this is a very large haul but it's not just books that I purchased I also got books in a swag bag and we were doing something fun where we were going through and we were trading books that we already owned or wanted or whatnot so I was able to come home with books that I that have been on my radar, but not necessarily a priority for me to purchase. And then I was given a couple books, and then I got some books from some publishers that were there. They were getting they were giving the books out at the end of the day if you were around the table. So definitely right place, right time. And I'm just incredibly, incredibly thankful that uh, I have the space which I don't really have the space to keep doing this but that I have the space to get books and that I do have the ability and the finances to set stuff aside so that I can get books and go to these things and I'm just incredibly incredibly blessed and just really thankful so I do have it split into categories based on books that I purchased at Baker Book House uh, books that I got in my swag bag and then the ones I got from the table. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. I am going to do the ones that I got from the publishing tables that were there. Tyndale was there, Enclave was there, and Kriegel was there. And then there was also another publishing house. There it was a, a small publishing house, a husband and wife, I believe, and they do like science fiction fantasy type books I talked to the wife for a little bit on Friday and she was very sweet but Enclave and Kriegel when they were done for the day they didn't want to take the books that they had with them home so they were giving them away to the people who were there um, so again definitely just right place right time but first I'm gonna start with this so every every swag bag I guess this technically belongs in the swag bag category so I'll add that to the swag bag category. We'll start with the books that I got from the table. So first I'll start with Enclave. I got The Mermaid's Tale by L.E. Richmond. This is book one in the Chronicles of the Undersea Realm. And it is just a stunning cover. I remember when they did re the cover release for this on Instagram. I was like, oh my goodness, it's mermaids. I have to get that at some point. So I was able to get that and was very thankful. And then I also was able to pick up Radiant by Ashley Bustamante, and this is book two in the Color Theory series. I know a couple of my friends have read one and absolutely loved it to the point that I believe they read the rest of the series. So now I just need to get book three at some point. I'm 90% sure. 
I don't know. I have so many books I can't keep track anymore. And I've tried apps and it just doesn't end up working for me. But I've got to find a better system of keeping track of what I own. And then from Kriegel, I was able to get Hero Debut by Angela Ruth Strong. This is book two in whatever series this is. Uh, Love Off Script. So I do have husband auditions and I took it with me because Angela was there and I got to meet her and I got her to, I was able to have her sign both books. So I'm super excited. So thank you to Enclave and, Craig, and Kriegel for being there, one, and then also for being so sweet enough to give the books to the people who were there because I know that it is, you, they did not have to do that at all. Next we'll go to the swag bags. Everybody got one of these cards from Enclave in there. It was a giveaway postcard and you filled out like your name, your email, and your phone number and you went in to be included in a drawing for like the grand prize baskets that they did. But if you turned in the card, you automatically got a paperback version of Brand of Light by Ronnie Kindig. And this is book one in her space opera sci-fi series. And I do have this whole series in hardcover, but I wasn't going to turn down a free, a free book, you know? So, and Ronnie was there and I was able to have her sign it and I'm just very excited to have this as well. So thank you to Enclave. And then in my bag. So first, I'll do some ones that were given to me. So I was gifted The British Booksellers by Christy Cambron. The Legacy of Longdale Manor by Carrie Taransky. I'm kicking myself because I completely forgot to have her sign. I brought books by Carrie with me to get signed and completely spaced and didn't have her sign that one. But that's all right. I'm sure I'll see her at something another time. And then I was gifted a copy of Brit and Sebastian Hate Each Other by Bethany Turner. And she was also there, so I was able to have her sign this for me. That's super exciting. I love Bethany. We've known each other. We actually met at the first Fiction Reader Summit. I went to the selfies and signings and that is when I met Bethany Turner and we have just, oh, I just love that lady so much. She is a doll and I am just very thankful to know her. Then I got This Ain't No Promise Land by Tina Shelton. She was also there so I was able to get that signed. Then I was able to trade for The Warsaw Sisters by Amanda Barrett. Be able to trade for We Three Kings. Uh, it's a novella collection with books by Crystal Caudell, Kara Putman, and Angela Ruth Strong. Again, I'm really bad when I get novella collections with one of the authors at the event. I'm terrible about getting the author to sign their story. So I spaced and didn't have Angela sign that, but I did get it, so I'm excited. Then I traded for A Healer's Promise by Misty M. Beller. This is book two in the Brides of Laurent series. I don't remember if I have this one. I have one in this series, but I don't know if it's book one or book two. If I have it, this is what I always say. If I already own the book, it means that I can give my second copy away to someone, whether it's a friend, a family member, someone on Instagram, social media, something like that. Then I got He Should Have Told the Bees by Amanda Cox. I'm very excited because this is the first Amanda Cox book Amanda Cox book that I own. And I know that she has just taken the world by storm. Her books have won multiple awards and she's just fantastic. I've been able to meet her a few times actually. Uh, but that's the first one that I own by her. So yeah, I'm excited. Then I got Set in Stone by Kimberly Woodhouse. This is book two in the Treasures of the Earth series. Then I got Julia Monroe Begins Again by Rebecca Millette. I've heard good things about this. This is just such a fun, bright, summery cover. And then last, I got Up From Dust by Heather Kaufman. This is Martha Story, book one in the Women of the Way series. This just came out, and I know that my friend Jenna Van Maurick loved this book so much. So when I saw someone I was able to trade for it, I snatched it right up so i have it jenna don't hold your breath that i'll read it very very soon but i do own it so at some point i can read it because i know that you loved it so those are the books that i traded and got and all the stuff that was in my swag bag so i didn't 
purchase any of these books. Now we can go into the books that I did in fact purchase at Baker while I was there. I'm not going to break them down on which trip I purchased them at because I went a few different times but so I'm just going to do them all together. So this is just the course of Thursday, Friday, and Saturday I purchased these books. First I got Lady of Basilicas by Ronnie Kendig. This is book five in her Drosirin, Drosirin? I think that's how you pronounce it, Drosirin Saga. So I uh, am so excited. This book as of me filming this, this book is not officially out on the market yet, um, but since Ronnie was, go it comes out on Monday, so since Ronnie was going to be at the event, um, Enclave worked it out so graciously that they were going to have the books early so that people who were at the event could purchase the book if they wanted to, and I was able to cancel my Amazon pre-order since they hadn't shipped yet, and I was able to purchase it directly from Baker Bookhouse and get it there, have it there, and get it signed, and I am just so incredibly excited it's beautiful it's actually probably I think the shortest book I've ever seen written by Ronnie which is oh I'm just I literally cannot wait to read the whole series I'm so excited okay so I got that then I picked up Loyally Luke by Pepper Basham look how cute ah I'm so excited this is book three in the series I don't know what the series is called, forgive me. I know there's tons of people who are probably screaming at their phone. It's this, Alicia, it's this, that's what it is. So I think, yeah, I think there's a series name or like a town name or something, I just don't know it, but I'm very, very excited. And it was 40% off, can't turn that down. That's a steal. Then I got For a Lifetime by Gabrielle Meyer and I, I always say her name wrong. It's Gabriel. Gabriel Meyer. Uh, I'm super excited. I am going to be reading book one this month for the fiction or <laughs> Southern Charm readathon and people talked me into it. I wasn't going to get book three since I haven't read book two yet but people talked me into it saying once I've read book one I'm going to want to read book two and I'm going to want book three so it was 30% off. Can't turn down a deal. I am going to read it so I went ahead and just grabbed it. Then I grabbed Never Fall Again by Lynn H. Blackburn. This is book one in the Gossamer Falls series. And I can't believe it took me so long to get this. But again, I've been just watching my spending. Um, but I finally picked it up and it was on sale. I Lynn H. Blackburn is seriously a top favorite suspense author. And I don't read suspense books much anymore. I just read so many of them growing up that now it's just kind of like burnt out so I found a couple suspense authors that I just adore and Lynn H. Blackburn is like probably the number one spot honestly I love her books then I have Countdown by Lynette Eason and this is book four in the Extreme Measure series the only one I didn't have so this one I oh look um, I was able to find in the used fiction section, which is always a great place to check out. Love that. And then I got The Secrets Beneath by Kimberly Woodhouse, which is book one in the Treasures of the Earth series. And because I got book two in my swag bag, I went ahead and grabbed book one since it was on the bargain section for nine doll hairs. So had to to complete it. And then I did grab Night Falls on Predicament Avenue by Jamie Jo Wright. Um, the lady that I normally go with, she loves Jamie, and I knew that this was the, like, one of the, the, really, the book that she was going for. She unfortunately wasn't able to go, so I did tell her that I would pick up Jamie's newest, because I know that she's been anxiously awaiting it. I forgot to take it to her to church today, but I did grab that, and she knows about it, so it's not like I'm spoiling any secrets. Then I grabbed Cole and Layla are just friends and this was another one that I don't know if it's out yet but because Bethany was there they were able to work where they got it on the shelves early so that people who were at the event could purchase it and get it signed. So again thank you to whoever works that out. Then I grabbed With Every Memory by Janine Roche. And this was another one that was on the bargain table and I grabbed it because Janine was there at the event so I was able to get it signed 
And then I found The Elusive Truth of Lily Temple by Joanna Davidson Politano. And she was there. And this is the only book that I don't own by her. Again, didn't pre-order it. But I was already planning on purchasing it. That was already the goal. And Thursday I got there. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to head. I'll look around. Do some like window shopping before seeing what was in my swag bag before seeing all of that before getting our because it with the lanyard we got a discount on certain things so i was like i'll just wait but i'm still just gonna kind of do some window shopping see if there's anything that i can't live without right now um i went to the used fiction section y'all this was sitting right there and my friend becca came around the corner and she saw me pull it and i was looking at it and she goes those weren't there when i just looked like yesterday or earlier today or whatever it was and I was like oh they must have just put them out but when I tell you it's so thankful I was like thank you Jesus because it was only five dollars and they're just like one of those little winks you know like I was happy to pay full price for it I was already planning on doing it but the fact that I just walked around the corner and it was there and I was able to get it signed and now I have it and you know just those little things so I was just so incredibly thankful and then the last group a part of this haul is actually a series and when I tell you this another little like one of those moments that you just uh, it's the little things right you know <laughs> just I know normal people probably don't get so excited about this but I do and I've never claimed to be normal so I got the entire Alaskan Courage series by Danny Petri and when I tell you I have been on the hunt for this series for years other than her newest one these are the only books by Danny that I didn't own and I've heard nothing but amazing things about this series but again when I found this book Thursday when I went I found this series and they had a couple, they had like a couple of certain ones, but I started moving through them and some of them were really stiff and I don't really like stiff books. I prefer like the floppier version. So I was able to find all five floppy. They're only five bucks a piece. But again, I was trying to be good, trying to stick to my budget and I was like, no, Alicia, you don't really need them. You don't. So I held them for a few minutes and then decided to put them back kept thinking about them Friday I went back before the signing they were still there in the same spot and I was like no Alicia you don't need them kept thinking about it kept thinking about it didn't get them Saturday morning like all day Friday I thought about it Friday night and into Saturday morning I just kept thinking about them and I told myself if I went on Saturday morning after the breakfast, and this is after the store has been open and people are moving through it freely, if I went back there and they had all five books in the edition, like the soft paper that I wanted, I could splurge and I could get the series. I went back there, they had all five in the spot I left them, the ones that, the editions, and I said, okay, I'm grabbing them. Well, with Baker Bookhouse, if you spend $100 or more in the store, for every $100 you spend in the store, you get a $5 off coupon for your next visit. Well, I had that in my car, so I went and grabbed that. So I used that, and then the lanyard ended up giving me an additional 25% off. So I got all five books for less than $15. Guys, they're like in perfect condition. When I tell you, I've looked for these for years. And I'll always find like random ones in the series used and they're never in very good condition first of all. Second of all they're like eight to twelve dollars used and I was like I can't I, I can't do that no. Um, so I was just it was just such a steal such a find and I just was I found some great books this trip so anywho the books in the series I guess I, sh I, guess I should show you. Uh, book one is Submerged Book two is Shattered. Book three is Stranded. Book four is Silenced. And book five is Sabotaged. So, yeah, I'm super excited. Couldn't believe it. I was just totally floored. 
Again, absolutely loved this wonderful event. I got to see Katie from Paperbacks and Ponytails. I got to see so many people hug them and give them love and chat with them and laugh with them and cry with them and take pictures with them and create new friendships and see old friends that have become family and you can watch my vlog where I talk a little bit about it but really showcase how bad I am at remembering to vlog when I'm out in public. Um, but yeah, that is my Fiction Reader Summit haul. I had an absolute blast. I took quite a few books with me to get signed, um, but I'm not going to go over those. Uh, yeah, I'm just incredibly thankful. If you haven't checked out BakerBookHouse.com yet, you can get their books and their wonderful sales online. They do, I want to say they do free shipping in the U.S. over $50. I think but they have the best hands down the best pre-order sales ever and just the sales that they run and you can buy you can shop their used fiction online as well as their bargain fiction and their sale fiction so I will always plug and always push and always support Baker Bookhouse they are uh, my favorite but you have to look up bakerbookhouse.com uh, and certain purchase and go through their site and not just Baker Book House because that will pull up other places that sell their books but BakerBookHouse.com is their their entity and all of their wonderful stuff so yeah that's my my big haul for the year I'm sure I'm hopeful that it didn't like set off a loose cannon <laughs> now I'm gonna go crazy but I'm still being very cautious about which books I bring in and buy but I'm sure I'll start there's a couple books I'm probably gonna pre-order potentially I don't know we'll see it's dangerous I love book buying but now I get to figure out where all these books go but yeah it was an amazing time so thankful I hope you enjoyed this haul let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books if you have what were some of your thoughts any books that you need to add to your collection any books you saw that looked interesting and you are adding to your TBR I would love to know let me know in the comments below let's chit chat don't forget you can check out my blog at for the love of Christian fiction .com. Wow. You can also check out my Instagram at For the Love of Christian Fiction and all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!